What's up guys? Can it be here with some more Overwatch? And I do truly love this game. Um, this is actually some just some snippets and gameplays that I played with my friends and buddies. Uh, you can kind of see some of them fun, some are some epic fails, some are just funny moments. Um, but I just wanted to talk about the game for a little bit. So if anyone hasn't played the open beta that was just passed uh, this past weekend, which would was like the the sixth to the eighth or something like that. Um, Again, the game it will be coming out in basically two weeks. So again, just sit tight. More videos will be coming soon. This game is going to be completely amazing. Um, be feel free to add me to Battle.net. It's Kenny B, and it's my number is 14, 1947. You can go ahead and add me as a friend. I like to love to play with my subs um, and all that good jazz. Um, but again, this game is coming out with I think. 11 maps and 21 playable characters um, so the characters go in different categories four categories you got attack you got defense you got tanks and then you got like supports uh, crews um, so attacking of course they do DPS they go attack things defenders kind of defend things more turtling like uh, uh, you got bastion which like, turns into a tank you kind of have Torin, who is like more like an engineer from Team Fortress, um, and there's a number of, number of different game modes within the uh, uh, the game as of right now. Um, so I think it's going to be launching with uh, basically capture point. So each team starts uh, six v six, uh, six players against six players, uh, and they try to run to a center point and then hold it until they hit 100 percent. Quite simple, and then there's other one that's kind of like pushing the cart or pushing a vehicle of some kind. It's kind of similar to the Team Fortress um, of moving the cart forward from point A to point B, um, and more people on the cart, it's going to move, uh, and so forth. It's very uh, Team Fortress-ish in that way. Um, then also some of the other classes, as you see here, I'm playing actually as Soldier 76, probably the most common or the most used by new players um, it's a your typical uh, first person shooter kind of layout you have a an assault rifle you can heal yourself and you have like a secondary like grenade launcher thing you just saw me shoot off um, and you're able to sprint so this basically this character plays best for people who are new to the game um, and you do see a lot of people have it and each character has this ultimate as you see here, I just use my ultimate here at horrible failure there um, basically his particular alt is something or ultimate they call it um, where you're able to lock on to enemies no matter what for I think the eight seconds or whatever time that is um, other ultimates have to able to re uh, revive their players others have uh, the special ability to call upon dragon spirits to come flying through the world others have other crazy ultimates of junk rat join throwing down a ginormous tire uh, that it can self-destruct by just driving it through the uh, the map. Um, again, there's just 21 different characters with all these different alts. And again, it's like an advanced game of rock, paper, scissors on everything has its weakness, but everything also has its strength. So the that's where the team effort comes into of having teammates that you're able to talk to, communicate, and work together with because some things work better than others. So combining my ultimate with another person's ultimate of a time bomb or the junk rat or uh, even Reaper's uh, crazy uh, killing spree, uh, Wrath of Death is amazing um, for a lot of these combination ultimates and trying to play the objective. And I think Blizzard uh, and the Overwatch team does a very good job on uh, having the team effort into it um, because they have it limited uh, to 6v6 uh, teams, so basically it kind of breaks it down even when you're on the main menu screen. It kind of gives you like a friendly reminder saying, hey, no one's playing a tank, or hey, no one's really playing a support class or uh, attacking or XYZ, because basically what a lot of people do, again, it was just the beta where people would play Tracer or you would have two snipers. Uh, two Widowmakers, I mean, or so forth, uh, on the team, and honestly, you would fail because it wasn't the proper layout. Yes, it doesn't always have to be a Widowmaker on the team, but also, when you're defending, you kind of want to have a different uh, breakdown of team efforts. And it also does come down to skill, of course. Um, if there's one Widowmaker that was carrying the team, 
I, you can play Widowmaker all you want, but majority of the time it's not. It's just someone who wants to play the Widowmaker and just uh, do so forth. Um, again, this game has been a lot of fun. I cannot wait to do more videos on this and just kind of do quick uh, guides, uh, do some tutorials, uh, some maybe some secrets and some myths uh, about particular characters because they're definitely going to be releasing more uh, characters. Not anytime soon because the game's not even out yet, but you can kind of see the spacing on the main menu of the 21 characters that they have that uh, <laughs> there's going to be more characters for sure. Um, I would love to see a lot more characters um, within this game. Uh, it would be completely awesome. A lot of the characters do kind of represent like the Team Fortress characters. Um, like Tracer. Like, Tracer is one of the more popular ones. She's the British lady that kind of can warp around uh, the map and so forth and able to traverse and be... I think she's a... Uh, but that, she's not the lowest HP because Zenyatta is also 150. Uh, but she's really squishy. Um, but she's actually a lot like the scout in Team Fortress. Um, and then you kind of see myself here playing Mercy. And she is kind of like the medic within uh, Team Fortress. Um, a little bit different because she is able to heal and do damage boost. So kind of it is like the uh, medic. But you had to switch your weapons within Team Fortress to be able to do so. Um, there's some other characters, of course. The I think Junkrat reminds me a lot of the the demo um, within Team Fortress, and then Widowmaker, of course, is a sniper, uh, and then just all different little revelations of uh, Junkrat kind of being the demo and so forth, and May kind of being like the pyro, being able to push people back um, and kind of have like a flamethrower ice effect, but, but kind of being the opposite. Um, and so forth. Again, like right now as we're playing here, uh, I'm playing as uh, Mercy and my buddy is playing as uh, Roadhog, which is basically a big tanky guy who has a ginormous like uh, chain that can grapple people closer to him and he can shoot his shotgun into their face, doing an enormous amount of damage. He also has his own healing ability, which is quite amazing, and his ult is basically pulling out a, uh, a Gatling gun and just going ham with everyone here. Uh, just just doing crazy amounts of damage to the enemy team um, which is just totally can clear out a point really quick and a combination between a direct healer like mercy and a tank like this you can really dominate the map here as you can see here and on control point we're really doing a great job on holding back the enemy and my uh, liquid who is playing as roadhog doing a great job on dealing the damage while I'm taking care of healing on him and also the other teammates around me that are actually on the point. I'm not going to try to leave the point because this is, again, this is the point of the game is to stay on this point. But yeah, again, guys, awesome game. I'm going to put the link down below um, to ch check it out, more information, more detailed stuff. Again, more videos be coming soon. I wish I had a little more footage to show everyone here um, on some funny moments and some crashes that I had, like uh, Epic, I mean, the uh, clutches, not crashes, uh, that I had in some of my game modes and record more of that. Um, if you want to see more, if you have any particular questions, comments, concerns, please put that in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer them as much as I can. If I don't, I'll find out the answer. But again, this game is coming out May 24th, so basically two weeks-ish when I'm recording this video. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to playing with the subscribers with my friends, making some awesome moments, having great time gaming, and bringing that great content to you guys as my subscribers. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Kenny B, signing off. Catch you guys on the flip side. Laters. Don't forget to check out the description below to follow me on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and then also I'll be live streaming soon um, more of this games and more other games that I'll be following and creating videos on my channel. Again, guys, Love you, the bottom of my heart. It's Kenny B. Signing off. Later.